Hello. You've joined me for a brand new episode of Matt Mills, and today we're making spicy chicken chipotle pasta. And let me tell you, this is good. It's got asparagus. It's got bell peppers. It's got a honey glazed chicken and a spicy chipotle cream sauce. And we're gonna make it right now. So let's get cooking. Woo! Golly! So we're gonna take this good looking asparagus here and I've got some boiling water already. Boiling. And I uh, got some good old co kosher salt in there. I don't know how they know it's kosher salt. I don't know that salt has religion. But regardless, we're gonna put this in there. We're gonna let it get in there and, and boil for about two or three minutes or so. And then after it boils and gets good and crispy, then we're gonna throw it right here in this, this ice water and we're gonna shock it and make it all crispy and, and good tasting. So two or three minutes in there and then we're gonna shock it. Hot almighty. All right, so I'm gonna take my butter. I'm gonna put it in this pre, whoa, Lord God, it's hot already. Now in here, I got my onions and I got my, uh, my yellow and my red bell peppers. We're gonna throw that in there. I feel like I can work at the uh, Japanese steakhouse now after doing this. And the best thing about it is it smells real good. So we're gonna let that cook down real good. Get good and hot, good and spicy. Ah, the money that smells good. Oh, Matthew. So I'm taking out the asparagus now. I'm shocking the hell out of it, getting it all. Oh yeah, shocking it. I used to do that after I'd get off work from Chick-fil-A. I'd go get in the hot tub at these apartments and then I'd sit in them there for a little while and then I'd go jump in the cold pool. So that's what's happening in asparagus right now. They're going and getting in a cold pool after working at Chick-fil-A. That's what's happening. Golly! All right, now I'm gonna put my penny pasta in there. Penny, penny. I'm gonna put that in there and then my boiling water. It don't matter, matter with the brand, I don't reckon. I used Barilla. Hot almighty. All right, so that pan that I was cooking all that stuff in, I'm putting my chicken in. The chicken's been marinating in lemon juice, which I freshly squeezed. Also some salt and pepper. So we're gonna put that in there. Now, that's gonna be good because that's the same pan that all them good vegetables was cooking in. Vegetables. Whatever I said. Um, but this right here, they're all going to be marinated in the same juice. So this is going to be real good. So we're going to brown this on both sides to make sure it gets cooked real good. And then we're going to check on this penny pasta in just a minute too. Oh, Matthew. All right, I'm going to check on my pasta with my tongs, my tongs, my tongs, my tongs, tongs, tongs. And we're going to see if it, I can already tell it's going to need to cook a little bit longer. Because you know when you go in there and grab it, you'll feel that it don't just kind of ref reflect back a little bit. Have a little bit of a reflex, I guess is the word I'm looking for. So that's still hard. We're going to let that cook for a little bit longer and check on it just a minute or so. Golly! Alright, now so I'm putting in the honey. I'm putting in a half cup, but I couldn't find my measuring gimmick with a half cup. So I'm doing two of the quarter cups. And uh, use any kind of honey you want. I'm using local honey here and it's dark honey. Um, but you use whatever you want to. Now here's another thing. This is for cleanup later. I sprayed some Pam into the measuring cup here before I put the honey in there because if you've ever measured honey before or anything that's real thick like that, you know how hard it is to get it out before or excuse me, afterwards when you're trying to, to wash dishes. So. I'm barely getting just enough here to finish this, but we're going to put that in there and let that cook. If you've never cooked with honey before though, spray that Pam on there. That's what I use. You use whatever you want to, but it will totally get it right out when you go to wash it at the end. All right? Hot almighty. All right, so I stuck that, that uh, honey bottle in the microwave for a couple seconds, got the rest of it out. And also I've added back in my vegetables. So that's all cooking up in there real good. Smells kind of, uh, I don't know, you can actually smell the heat and you can smell the sweet. So that, that's good to do while you're cooking. Now, I'm gonna put in my freaking Chipotle salsa, which is where the surname for this dish comes from. And I'm gonna do half teaspoon, a half tablespoon of salsa. I'm gonna do two of these, okay? 
Two of these, two of these. Put that in there, throw it in, do one more, throw it in. Now, also, I'm gonna do my heavy whipping cream now. I'm gonna do four of these because that's a quarter, so that's four. What's that mean? That's a cup. We're gonna do some heavy whipping cream in this sucker. There's one, there's two, three, Jeff would miss this one. Number four, that's right. And then we're gonna get that in there and we're gonna stir it up real good. Think about that honey and that cream all mixing together right now, plus some vegetables and that chicken that's all good and brown right now. This is gonna be good. Oh, Matthew. So I've added my Parmesan cheese, par Parmesan cheese, but I say Parmesan. And uh, so I've got that in here. I've got all my heavy whipping cream and I'm getting ready to add my, uh, remember earlier we shot the hell out of that asparagus. We're going to add that plus the, the frozen peas. So we're going to add this into this whole big concoction here. And the other thing, too, is you can probably notice I'm using the same bowl that I had my vegetables in earlier. I think that you get all that goodness that you can into this bowl. All of it. Now, I've got my, uh, my pasta. For, don't forget about your pasta. That is a big, big part of this thing, along with the chicken. Well, really, all of it's important. We'll put all that in there. And then we're going to mix it up and just let it cook and just marinate together. And I like to think that the... The cream and the chicken, it's like a big orgy of taste. They're just making love to each other right there in that pot. We're going to eat it in just a minute. Golly! Alright, so now the best part. It is time to try the spicy chicken chipotle pasta that I have slaved over for about, I don't know, I'd say probably a total of about 45 minutes or so. But let's give it a good taste. Straight out. I want to make sure I get some of that. That good asparagus and the chicken and some bell. I want to get a little bit of everything in there. And not burn the hell out of my tongue doing it. Ready? Here we go. No, I is good because you immediately taste the honey. And because the honey is it's got a little spice to it. Hot almighty. Alright, we paused because I left some of it in my beard, but it's so good. It tastes like, it's like New Orleans meets Asian cuisine. It's real good. So I definitely recommend that you check out the spicy chicken chipotle pasta. The recipe's at the beginning. It's at the bottom. It's all linked everywhere. Let me know how it works for you. It is good. Mmm, nom, 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 nom. Oh, awesome.